How do ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel and I hope you are all doing well. So as you saw from the um, description above, we now have a new project and yes, it is in a bath. So this is her turning up last night. So guys, the sun has actually gone down. My new project is about to arrive. So let's see it, shall we? If I'm right, it is gonna come from that direction. And there it is. Oh, I cannot wait to get that thing off. I'm so looking forward to it. It looks absolutely amazing. Especially photos anyway. And here it is. Oh, and a bath. 595. Com comp or something. <laughs> Sorry, I can't spell or read. Um, yeah, she looks amazing. Only problem with her is this. That is it. That is the only issue this car has got. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, might need to do something with the door, but it's just the wing, something's happened with the wing. But from everything else I've seen, she looks really, really good. Right, let's get her off the magnet. Down's really good. So at the moment it's a bit too dark to be able to record a lot for you guys but um i'll do some more in the morning once she's uh once we've got better daylight but this is how she's arrived it's always scary when you hear that noise so it was quite dark when she turned up last night i apologize for the wind it is a bit it, i've just had a break in the rain so i thought i'd start making the film now um it was quite dark last night, so I could only film a certain amount of it, but now is the time for us to go properly round the car. So yes, here she is guys. She is in a Bath 2016 595 competition or competition as it's put. So I haven't had much of a look around it because obviously I thought I'd wait for you guys. But I can't do too much today because it is my 36 year birthday. So woohoo! And here's the interior. So that's new because on my missus one, she didn't have this and it's more of a a nicer leathery type one than previous and it's got oh got a bit of that in there classy um also got the lovely a bath carpet in here so some money's been spent on it i'm gonna say now guys that a lady has definitely owned this car which is a great thing now the reason i say that is i can smell some beautiful perfume in here and funny enough it's even laced on the keys even got the lovely a bath strap here very good i must admit i've fallen in love with this car already and here we go even on the inside like i say so this is a category n right off and i'll explain to you why in a second absolutely mint rear interior i must admit there's no marks absolutely clean as you like so whoever has owned this like i say i believe it is a lady she has really looked after it. Yep, thing is a lady. I'm loving all that I'm seeing right here. And I absolutely adore these seats. They are beautiful and they hug you amazingly. So I've just literally found that panel, guys. It was literally over here in the passenger side, which is good. Like I say, at the moment, from what I can see, got a little bit of rubbish, no with. But this is everything that's come with the car. So loads of stuff in here. Ooh, what we got here? So you're seeing everything that I'm seeing. Oh, what we got? Allergy tablets, okay. Oh, fluff. Forever fluff. Cool, okay. Nice. So guys, let's take a look at what we've got here. So, some sort of light keyring. Um, got some lip balm. Um, that bath thing, whatever that is. I think this is a... Oh, receipt from a bath. Yes, yeah, this is some wipers. Cool. 
Um, I don't know what that is. What we've got here, last MOT. Now the MOT on this, guys, it has never failed an MOT. And it is from, that was done at Dartford. So that's good. Sorry, not Dartford, what am I talking about? Um, Deptford. Okay, London, cool. I love finding things like this. This really does, uh, like to me, it's gold dust, I love it. I'm trying to find receipts and things, so. Oh, wicked, the latest oil change that was done on it at 43,799, 280. So what we had, oil filter, oil, air pollen, screen wash spray. Good, so it's had a service recently. Fantastic to see. Oh, got another one for MOT, good. Um, exhaust test, what we've got here. Some sort of badge. Um, some more stuff. Okay. Whales. Over here. Whoop. Thanks for MOT. Like I said, I love finding receipts and stuff. So here is the service book, I believe. Oh no, it's not the service book, sorry, it's the manual. So where's the service book? The service book must be this one. Is it this one? No, that's the manual, so this is the service book. Oh no, this is the sound system. No, okay, keep looking, Nick. Ah, here we go, that's the service book. Now, hopefully. Okay, so it's had two bath services, no, th four services from a bath. And two individual. Fantastic to see. That was all the paperwork. Um, no more hidden goodies, I can see. 24 hour of bath, I'll leave that in there for the moment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I tell you what, like I say, the interior of this is mint. Like the seats are in really good condition, they're comfortable, they're lovely. Love this, I must admit. I was tempted to wrap this in carbon fiber. Now, if any of you have seen my videos, you'll know that I love carbon fiber. So I was tempted even before I bought this to do that. But you know what? I don't think I'm gonna bother. But it's got all the 595 stuff on it, all the floor mats. These ain't gonna be cheap. I can tell you that for three. And yeah, so let's start her up. So she's only got 44,591 miles. Still got a full tank of fuel in it, which is fantastic. Let's start, let's, let's open the door. And then let's start her up. God, me, that sounds amazing, that does. Quite a whistle on the end of that. Lovely. Oh, Sport is now working as well, just tested that. Now I'm not quite sure what um, Sport really does on these. I know from my Mrs. one, it, the steering was a lot harder. Um, and that was pretty much about it. I could be wrong, but I don't I don't honestly know. I need to do a bit more research on it. But she is in absolutely fantastic condition. And I will say, guys, this was the cheapest 959 competition in the UK at this point. And I couldn't say no to buying this. So I will take you now around the car just so you can have a look on the outside and you'll see why they writ it off. Now, personally, I can't understand why. So like I say guys, here she is from the outside. She's a beautiful color actually. I really like it. A lovely sort of like a dark bluey gray. Um, like I say, she's a 2016 model as you can see there. Now I would really like to find the owner if possible to actually see what actually went wrong with this. So if anyone who is watching this knows, I believe the lady, um, I'd love to obviously um, get in contact to find out and also find out what beautiful perfume that is. <laughs> so like I say guys, she's absolutely mint really sounds absolutely amazing but let's find out why she's a cat in so as you can see the steering wheel is completely straight this side but not straight this side 
So unfortunately the poor girl is at a hit here. And it is this wing is the reason she's a cat N. Just because of that wing. Now the bumper's got a scuff and I can get that repainted, that's not a problem. So I don't need a new bumper. I'm definitely gonna need a new wing. But the door, sorry if the wind's actually a bit of a trouble, I do apologize. The door is in really good nick still. All it needs is a bit of paint and um, the a bath decal on the bottom. But it's just the wing. But I do need to find out why that wheel is the way it is. That is one of the other things. So I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to do some investigation, but this video is just all about the new project, the 595 bath, which is absolutely amazing. It's got Brimbo front brakes. I've got a lot of plans for this, unfortunately, yet again, my missus has jumped in it. She started it up and she absolutely loves it. And now by the look of things, well, she's just basically told me she wants it. Um, because fortunately, as you can see over there, her mini, which I did on one of my previous videos, is you, um, I've just got to pick up some rubbish, um, that you see me do, is very poorly. Um, and unfortunately, to fix it, I don't have the time nor the space to do it anymore. So unfortunately, that is going to go and she wants in a bath. And that's what she had previously when we moved into this house. Um, Cause she had to sell her a bath to afford the house. I had to sell my 350Z, my motorbike to afford the house, but I've got mine. And now this has come up, she wants in a bath. So, oh, sorry guys, it's really windy today and it's just not letting off. Um, so it looks like I've got to now find her in a bath. She wants mine, but I'm thinking I'm gonna keep this one for me because I wanna do a lot of things to this. I do want to put a bigger turbo on it. I wanna put a front mounted cooler on it. I wanna put a few body kit trims and things. Lower it slightly, I think. The plans are there, but like I said, I'm not too sure 100% what I'm gonna do. Um, it would be interesting to see what you guys think, guys. So yeah, put some comments down below. Give me some info, in, sorry, some info on um, what you think I should do to it. I do want to see though, because obviously I work shifts. That's noisy, starting up at three o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna wake everyone up. As you can imagine. So if you guys can tell me if there is an exhaust out there that I can basically push a button and make it go really quiet, or I can just turn it straight to something like that. Put some comments down below for me guys, because I'll have to have a look into that, because at the end of the day, I don't want to wake everyone up at three o'clock in the morning. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, I don't care, stuff it, <laughs> enjoy it. Um, I gotta be considerate to my neighbors. It's already a pain enough for them when they've got the 350Z that makes so much noise. And now they've got an abath to worry about as well. So yeah, I think to be fair, absolute bargain, fantastic find. And I was very lucky on the bids. When I was actually bidding on it through Copart, I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I hit my reserve, what I was gonna go for, and then literally it went above and I could see with the miles, the age, and really what's wrong with it, from what I can see, the wing, and it's potentially something to do with the steering or whatnot. I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna go a bit higher, and I did, and then I stuck. And I was just below my second threshold, so it's fantastic on that news. Like I say, guys, she is bone stock. I've always wanted one of these competitions and like I say, I found an absolute treat right here and I'm so over the moon with it. I gotta admit though, there's not a lot of room to work on it. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun to work on any day. But the first point of call guys is gonna be literally put a new wing on, sort out that steering and then chuck for an MOT because as the Mini's gone, um, well, she's not healthy. We're running on my Volvo only at the moment. So I'm gonna need to put this on the road. So then I can drive this, my partner can drive my Volvo and then we're going to sell the, the Mini. The 350Z is hopefully going in for its MOT soon as well. And then that'll go to paint and then that's going to be sold. Uh, for the people that have just joined and everything, if you haven't seen the, um, the videos on 350Z, please go have a look. They're on the, obviously, earlier on in the videos I've done. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'd love to find out who actually owned this because they've really looked after it and it is, they've really, made such a credit to this vehicle they really have it's just a shame that obviously from whatever's happened here it's happened um, by the look of what I can tell the car was down in Chelmsford in Essex and um, yeah so if I could find the person I'd really like to obviously just find out what happened because the weirdest thing is as you can see 
it must have been high what's done this because it's taken the wing out and then smashed it there but it has not damaged the wheel so whatever has knackered this wheel i would have thought it was a curb or something but it can't be because there's no damage at all to the rim and it's still holding air so it's not damaged the tire in any way so whatever it is it's high but i don't understand how that's done that because i must admit i tried to drive it just around there to give it a go and I heard the scrape and i thought a flat and then i saw that and i was like oh great so guys that's going to bring us to the end of this video because the heavens has just literally started to open so i am going to have to shoot inside i hope you have enjoyed the video to everyone please put some comments down below and for you a bar owners that know a lot about these if you could um, give me some information of what it would cost and what I need to do to push this to roughly 240 horsepower, like turbos and bits and pieces like that, that would be absolutely smashing. But like I say, guys, if you can please hit like, please hit subscribe to keep up with more future content, guys, and I will see you later. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Ta-da.